Hi, Kevin Sutton of Luskin Albertson. I want to speak with you today about a very important decision that was recently issued by the Michigan Supreme Court. The case is called McCormick v. Carrier, and the opinion was issued by the court uh, on August 2, 2010. And it addresses a specific issue uh, that arises under the Michigan No Fault Act and the standard that someone must show in order to recover for an injury. The standard is the Serious Impairment of Body Function Standard. And this standard was addressed several years ago in 2004 in another Michigan Supreme Court decision that was entitled Kreiner versus Fisher. In that decision, uh, the Kreiner court addressed what, a, what an individual needed to show in order to recover for a serious impairment. They laid out several standards saying that the individual needed to show a serious imp impairment of body function that inhibited their ability to live their normal life. The uh, court articulated that it needed to change the trajectory of the individual's life in order for them to recover. Our new Michigan Supreme Court in this decision that was just issued a few weeks ago in the McCormick decision uh, said that the Kreiner decision was wrong, that the Michigan Supreme Court in 2004 didn't get it right and that they wanted to change the decision. So they have overruled Kreiner and issued a new standard. They said that the talk that the Kreiner court had about altering the trajectory of one's life was not appropriate, that it was not in the legislative language, and that that was not the standard that needed to be followed for an individual to show a serious impairment of body function. Instead, the court in McCormick offered a much lower standard that needed to be met for an individual to show a serious impairment. What they articulated was that one must show first an objectively manifested impairment and they said that that could be observable from actual symptoms or conditions. Second, they needed to show that that impairment was of an important body function. The court explained that the body function is something that's of value, significance, or consequence to an injured, injured individual. And third, that the, uh, it affects the person's ability to live their normal life. And the way they define that, and this is the key distinction from Kreiner, is that it influence, influences some of the plaintiff's capacity to live his or her normal life. So the distinction is a very fine one. The Kreiner court having said that the impairment must alter the trajectory of your life, here the McCormick court saying that it must just influence some of your capacity to live your normal life. Now the question is why is this important to a school district? In situations, uh, serious impairment particularly comes up if there's a bus accident or if one of your employees driving a vehicle uh, has an accident with a private vehicle. Often there are claims for injuries made by the individuals who are involved in those accidents and the serious impairment standard is what's going to control whether or not they are able to recover against the school district or the school district employee. And so this is an important development and again it alters the, the shift and it's a very pro plaintiff shift. Uh, and we see that the standard is being lowered dramatically uh, for someone to establish a serious impairment of body function. 